Hi, this is Ryan from the future compared to the other Ryan in this video. Um, I actually wasn't around for the first few minutes recording this video and I decided to put in some post commentary because otherwise it was just complete silence for a while. So the first thing here we have the bans, Karuno being banned from Carrot and Carrot banning Karuru from Sad. Okay, so the game starts here with uh, Sad going for the typical Thalia A1 opening, uh, focusing once and opening black box to get the single pedal on there. It doesn't resurge because that requires uh, having three or less tokens on the steam engine. Carrot, for his part, does the typical Mizuki opening and plays Steady Advance to recruit three times. Sad really taking down those enhancement tokens here. So let's see. Ah, uh, yeah, it's roaring. That's a good punish for the second player doing a throughout on their turn. You get to get that full roaring value where you deduct one of their vigor, flinch them, and gain a vigor for yourself. And this will resurge uh, Black Box Neo. Putting it in position to be com to complete a transformation with a uh, quick change which is being set up here by discard for focus and a little forward movement just for safety. So on WebSim you can actually right click a card or your bigger token to say that what action you're spending it for, but Carrot does not seem to have been aware of this fact while playing, so he's constantly going to do something and then show you what he was doing it for, or the backwards. Do something and show you how you paid for it. Alright, so we have the first bloom effect of Spirit, right? Guardian Spirit, get. So I think here we're going to see one of the first major mistakes by Sad this game. I do think it's really cool that he uh, made a one charge 
quick change. Basically, just using quick change to get a machine token back and enable your transform. Normally, one of the problems with quick change is you're playing it at the end of your draw cycle, and it ends up not being reshuffled into the deck, which disrupts your ability to transform on the the second pass through your deck. And doing it this way means that it will discard in time for his reshuffle, which is pretty cool. But he does transform here and decides to take D.Va. And I think he decides to take D.Va just to be safer. He goes for the two aura gain. But I think he was only really at risk for one or two life damage this turn. And if he had taken Kinari here, he would have discarded Carrot's deck and disrupted the bloom chain that way. Carrot would have been reliant on his redraw for it, and he would have had to redraw with a smaller deck. And, well, okay, maybe not necessarily. No, yeah, because he, he could have reacted to uh, Kinari with that card from his hand to stop the 2 2 attack. Like, everything looked like he was positioning for a really perfect Kinari attack, too, and he just bagged down at the last second and decided to D.Va instead. And he doesn't get a whole lot of use out of D.Va this game. So again, he could have had... He could have discarded Carrot's deck, including the Guardian Spirit, right? And then gotten... A uh, free 2 2 on top of it. I guess the downside there also is that Carrot could have decided to take the aura damage from draw frustration and then played Season's turn to force the draw of Guardian Spirit from his discard pile. I don't think he would do that though, and even if he did, that's very costly. And he would be able to do that and uh, have a uh, Sakura Wings also, which is going to be the case this turn. So Season's turn is going to pick up Guardian Spirit from the bottom of his deck. I'm not sure which card he discarded here, but that part is not optional anyway. Sakura so wings down to distance 3. Sad has no cards in hand. There's no chance that anything happens to disrupt this. Season's turn resurges because of Sakura wings swapping. And then Guardian Spirit comes down and it's going to hit and bloom into Destructive Spirit. And here I am. Okay. Goodbye. Okay, I'm back. Hello. Zuki Hanukkah versus Dahlia A1. The Obro A1. I just come recently, so I miss a lot of part in the game. I don't know why. Uh... Was he using the Naga action earlier, or did I imagine that?
I don't know. Okay. I guess there's no quash from Garrett there. Interesting. Yeah, maybe just unlucky. I feel like quash would be something you always bring against Thalia A1, right? Yeah, especially because of the Zeta voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I'm still not quite sure how to feel about Onoka Mizuki here. I feel it could be strong, but it feels underperforming. Like, yeah, the number of attack feels weak. They complement each other, but they don't particularly synergize. Because one of Hanukkah's weaknesses is she just has a very few defenses, right? Um, I think the problem is more like in the firepower rather than the defenses. Hmm. I mean, combined, I think that's their, their weakness. I think Hanukkah's got decent firepower. Like, middling, kind of Obero or, or Chikage level, not like Arena or Sainu level. Yeah, no. Definitely, Obero is way, firepower is way higher. Like, the problem with Hanukkah's firepower is, uh, like, you need to transform to not transform, but bloom into the destructive. And once you have destructive, you have good firepower, but you can, usually you can only play destructive once per game because of the range restriction. Mm -hmm. And then, like, even with, uh, with destructive, usually you can only connect, like, three to twice with the help of uh, in the name. Oh, uh, is this destructive? No, the range is five, right? Yeah. Nope, nope. The range is five. This is the problem with destructive spirit, right? You need to have are you dancing them? Let me check. Oh yeah, we are at five actually. Alright. I'll refresh. Oh yeah. Wow. Okay, weird. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's the problem with Guardian. And now at you, you connect Guardian. Uh, I mean, destructive, but there is no follow up, and you just lost three aura, two aura for this. He bloomed into Uka. He's got Uka. And this is why you you don't want to play win until. Destructive side. 
the Sakura wing because yeah, I don't you know. want to Did you use it to get Guardian, you think? I don't know. I did not pay attention mm. yet. That seems to be using a lower refresh engine for Neo Black Box. Yeah, Black Box Neo is not. Uh, the fact that Black Box Neo has a. Ah, no, it's fine. It's already transformed once, I guess. Mm -hmm. It's not that bad, I think. Starting with two one. Well, really, I don't feel good about this. I will probably just take that to life. Yeah, that's terminal, so... Yeah, also there is... Um, there is like... Oboros to attack Light Steel Stream, and... And then we have four, probably the... Asura, yeah, Asura transformation from the enchantment. That would probably be the worst thing that could happen here. He maneuvered back, though, so I don't know what we're going to see. Yeah. Okay. Is it going to be Asura after all? It is Asura. Yeah, so okay, I there we go. Yep, forward then playing the Ashura three turn. Is there a reason that the Diva form is in the blade pile? Is that like cheap transformation? I thought that was a quick change. What? The DF? Diva, Diva. Oh yeah. Is that just if I he, he it was, just must have got that transformation yeah. already? Okay. Ah, so he did have Naga earlier then. Hmm, Naga Defy is really, really a strong combination. Annoying, actually. Hmm. Okay, so he did move one shadow to life with destructive speed. Is this in the name of this flag? Turn 3 2 cost to. Oh, really? Well, probably there is Topikaki. Oh no, it's just 3 2 and 2 and, yep. 2 and. This is bad though for Seth, like Seth can only recover twice next turn and Karot will draw Oka. And I can see how Seth can uh, 
move backward to range 5 or move to range 0 here. Other than probably waving edge and turbo switch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the only way. It's a 0 over Sherm. I think waving edge and burning steam might take him. Oh no, burning steam's in his play pile. I was thinking that was his hand because I'm used to being black. Yeah, it's not that loss, right? Because the tempo will, when after Carrot play Oka, the tempo will really, really highly favor Carrot. It will be really hard to come back from 4 3. Even, uh, even if Seth took the 4 3 to Aura, even if Seth can do that. With recover four times, for example, mm -hmm. that's huge tempo loss. No offensive power with that. Uh... <laughs> Not a good, by the way. Yeah, I still think that way because it's the reason is just because the the way I play last turn is using move forward and play Asura and Flames himself. I still feel Honoka needs a partner that can accommodate the firepower for her. Well, everyone's going to feel better if they have a partner that's got a lot of firepower. Unless if you're Saini or Yurina, to be honest. <laughs> Even taking those two, you, like getting another Megami that has powerful attacks on top of it still feels pretty good. Yeah, right. I feel mean, Hunoka is like Chikake, but of them like firepower, like like not enough firepower by themselves. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I feel like Obro is that way too, though personally. I feel that way until I discover the like Rush of Blade because Oboro kind of sufficient to deal life damage with Nimbo, Nimbo into uh, strings. It's still string into Rust of Blade, but I agree. It, even with that, it's still like firepower. Yeah, and now it should be GT, right? I guess. Let's see what Sad can do with this flare. Got Neo and who knows what else. What's the distance? Two. Okay. We're not gonna we're not gonna see any kind of bear shenanigans. This just goes to life, right? Hmm. Huh. This is quite dangerous, I guess. Is it dangerous? No, it's not that dangerous, I guess. Ah, uh, don't forget Caldrop's effect to see carrot hand and Discard one card from it. Oh, he did have quash all along. I guess you probably yep, yep by bulwark. <clears throat> and probably set shall discard and reshuffle without taking damage. Discard what? Uh because the decision should be made before set throw. Um, how does this card draw change? Oh no, just go back to, yeah, just go, just discard and then right click reshuffle without taking damage. Yeah, this is fine. This is good. Alright, I don't understand, but okay. Uh, basically just reshuffling the deck 
uh, just get back the card from the hand back to the deck, reshuffling, and then draw the card. Because the Caltrops uh, effect shouldn't, like, the Caltrops effect should result before set see what card he draw. Oh, I see what you're saying, because you shouldn't know what, what his hand is before he decides on what yeah. card is upon. Yeah. Uh. <clears throat> I don't know, man. Five life difference feels impossible, actually. Just discard everything into the bear dream. Uh, this feels bad, man. Why, feels bad, why man. end there and not spend an, a flare to get a token back from your steam engine? I don't know. Nothing. Yeah, you're true, totally. If I pop Oka here, probably I'll just play play it. <laughs> yeah. In for all right. Keep playing it, and then when your opponent makes you plays an attack against you, if they ever had the guts to do so again, you just react and then crush them. Yep. Yeah. Two four three is too strong. Two four three. Uh, yeah, counter offensive. Oh, I didn't actually talk that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Oh yeah, I remember I was playing against Honoka Mizuki, and it feels like, yeah, it's just one strong attack every reshuffle, but yeah, that's all. Like, there is not much to meet in mode in Walton. If a decent Mizuki game hits life, then yeah, you're at a pretty big disadvantage to coming back. Yeah. I still feel Mizuki Hoka is strong, but I don't know. I don't know how to think, how to about Honoka Mizuki to be honest. Like, what card do you even bring? Uh, Petal Storm, uh, the Spirit Ride, and then uh, the Big Death, of course. And then 3 2 by Mizuki. And you bring. And then... Oh, actually, <laughs> you could do the uh, Mizuki enhancement and pair that up with uh, In the Name of This Flag. The special enchantment? No, 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 no. The you can do that too, maybe. But I was thinking just the the one where you get plus one plus one. You're not moving. Wait, it's non special attack, isn't it? That's non special attack, yeah. Yeah. Okay. You could use the enhance the other one too, though, and make it a three three. That'd be kind of spicy. But I was thinking it'd be really <laughs> easy to play that without that's... moving because it's got such a wide range. Yeah. That's eight. Probably the special you will bring in the name and the reaction uh, uh, came for season turn again, and then any card from Mizuki, right? Either the special reaction or the Barax one. Season's the one that turn. put the card. It's actually pretty strong with Mizuki, also, right? You don't even really yeah. need shield soldiers if you've got that, because you just throw out a reaction whenever, as long as, you're, as long as you still have blooming going on for card exchanging. Yeah. Inscription doesn't flip that though, right? Or does it? No, it doesn't. I uh, no, no, I mean, conscripting unit doesn't flip that, but conscripting a card from a bonus, like from the set aside with the special, special Mizuki. Oh, yeah, with Divinity of War. That flipped that. Because con con uh, conscripting unit is just from the barracks to barracks, like okay. from the barracks. Yeah, unconscripted to conscripted. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I think that's quite solid, I guess. Oh, is he just throwing cold chat as an attack here? That's the I get rid of it. No, no, that was a reaction to something. 
can't. I don't know. I'm so distracted. Reaction from what? Don't know. He played it before his turn, though, I think. Maybe not. Maybe this was his turn. I no, see. This I see. I see. This was his turn. This is the good setup. Topic okay. again, I guess. Oh. Yep, GG, I guess. Right? In this game, right? I mean, you have time for life and... Yeah, I, don't, I can't conceive of anything that could be done here. He is at distance 3, so if this this could be the Kumasuke. This is the, the, the last chance. <laughs> Imagine this is actually Kumasuke. I mean, that 8, 8, it doesn't... It's not enough, right? It's so eight. close. It's so close to being enough. Not enough, right? To do all right, and then six to life, and then one more. Carrot just passes, and you die. <laughs> there it is. Design, yeah. GG.